everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I will do a how to determine whether you're beautiful in Korea. So, a disclaimer, before I start this video, this is only my thoughts and perceptions of what beauty is in Korea. You can correct me if I say something wrong and of course, this is are all a matter of opinion so don't take it too seriously if you don't fall within a certain standard. The truth is, we are all perfect just the way we are. And without any further ado, let us start the video. Number 1 is Pale Skin So there are some reasons they like pale skin and number 1 is their tradition. Koreans traditionally like pale and white skin and there are some expressions like skin like a white jade. Traditional beauty standard has been white skin as the more skin is darker, the more it indicates that they've been working hard or hardworking. As a result, white skin implies good environment, richness, and noble. Who is preference to white color? Koreans have liked white color traditionally as well. There is also a phrase that is saying white cloth ethnicity that indicates they really like white color. White color traditionally stands for purity and this makes also dark things as dirty things. That's why there are so many expressions that say being dark is bad. Inner mind is dark to have an bad idea, for example. Number 3 is looks younger. Most people don't like tanning because it damages your skin and the sun is literally aging it faster. So most Korean women want to stay looking young that is why they stay out of the sun but this doesn't mean that they don't love or like the sun or summer. Number 2 is big eyes. There is a very famous painting in Korea which was painted in the early 19th by Shin Yun Bok. This painting is called Portrait of Beauty. You can see that the girl from the painting has slanted monolid eyes. There are lots of paintings so of so-called beauties from East Asia, not only from Korea, that you can see women with monolid eyes. Also from historical literature, works that describe the appearance of beautiful women, it was possible for us to inter or infer that slanted eyes were beautiful. Other physical traits that were considered beautiful included pale skin, round and arched brows, red lips and small mouth, and etc. Number 3 is Double Eyelids Reasons why Asians including Koreans do plastic surgery are to correct severe phytosis or sleep a look. To have a brighter look on eyes, etc. As we know, eyes affect one's first impression. Here's the before and after picture post double eyelid surgery in mind plastic surgery in Seoul, South Korea. And number 4 is nose. The ideal shape of nose is one that is medium high with a round tip and a high nose for a girl considered unnatural and very unattractive. A modest to medium nose bridge is the optimal balance for a Korean face. Those with really high nose bridge is considered unattractive because of its unnatural appearance. Guys, the number 5 is small face. For most Koreans, they tend to like a smaller and a smaller size of head. So the smaller the better. Korean singer Ivy is known for her small head and many people and celebrities envy that. The ideal head body ratio is 1 is to 8. That applies to both genders. 6 is V-lined face. A V shape is still preferable even though it's not a important anymore. Someone with a square or round face can still be considered beautiful if she meets other criteria. 7 is S-line or X-line body shape. The ever popular S-line as the letter S is curvy. The S-line is used to describe a curvy woman, similar to other descriptive words like hourglass and a bottle shape. Some idols with an S-line body include Yuna, a former C-star member, Bora, and Yo Sung. On the other hand, an X-line body is like this. Picture an X and the middle part of the X is the waist. So this is the end of the video and thank you for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe, 
like share this video with your friends and comment down below for your video suggestions bye Mwah.